Giannis Antetokounmpo kept doing his thing for the Milwaukee Bucks. But he still needed a helping hand from teammate Chris Middleton, who sank a clutch three pointer with five. Two seconds left to send the Bucks to a 116 113 victory over the Chicago Bulls on Wednesday night, Thursday, Manila time. Antetokounmpo had a season high 36 points, 11 rebounds, and 8 assists in an entertaining duel with former teammate Jabari Parker, who paced the Bulls with 24 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. After several missed tips by Brooke Lopez and a tap out by guard Eric Bledsoe, Malcolm Brogdon smartly passed the ball back to a wide open Middleton at the top of the three point arc to set up the winning shot. Justin Holiday missed a three for Chicago that would have tied it in the final seconds. Middleton's game winner was the only shot he took in the fourth quarter. For several years, Chris has been a big shot maker, a big shot guy at the end of games, Bucks coach Mike Budenholzer said. When you don't get a touch, that can make it harder. I think they were rotating, sometimes they were taking away Giannis and getting a quick rotation to Chris, and we got some good open looks on the backside. He's a heck of a player. Antetokounmpo just missed a third triple double this season. He attacked in the paint and shot 14 of 21 from the field and 8 of 12 on free throws. So far, I've figured out my spots and I know where I can be effective from, Antetokounmpo said. I've just got to keep being aggressive. I don't think there are guys in the league that can guard me one-on-one -on -one down there. But I think what makes this team great and what makes me great in this game plan is that I can pass the ball. I think teams are scared of that. Antetokounmpo also had a crucial block of Parker's shot with the score tight at 111 in the last minute, and the star forward then sank two free throws with 36 seconds left before the Bulls' Zach Lavin tied the score with a reverse layup. The Bucks, 15 6, improved to 11 2 at home and bounced back from a close loss Monday at Charlotte. Chicago, 5 17, lost its fourth in a row and for the eighth time in nine games. Brogdon finished with 24 points, five rebounds and six assists, while hitting all six three-pointers he attempted. Middleton added 17 points, six rebounds and four assists. I was just trying to be aggressive and take my opportunities where they were, Brogdon said. Chris and Giannis attract so much attention. Just knock down shots. Lavin also had 24 points for Chicago and rookie guard Ryan Arcidiacano continued his stellar play in the last week with 22 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists. Robin Lopez added 17 points off the bench. I love how we're competing right now, Bulls coach Fred Hoidberg said. I thought we did execute down the stretch. When we have our movement, we have a lot of great looks at the basket. The Bulls again scored 40 points in the first quarter, equaling their total in the opening quarter on November. 16 in the first meeting between the teams. Parker had 10 points in the quarter, and the Bulls shot 66.7% from the floor, 12 of 18, to take a 40 30 lead. Antetokounmpo sparked a Bucks rally in the second and finished the half with 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists. Milwaukee outscored Chicago 33-22 in the second period to take a 63-62 halftime lead. A three-pointer by Brooke Lopez gave the Bucks a 77-72 lead with 7.40 left in the third quarter and prompted a Bulls timeout. Arsa Diacono sank a pair of threes as the Bulls regained the lead at 82-80 before the Bucks responded with dunks by Antetokounmpo and Pat Connaughton sandwiched around a free throw by Middleton. The Bucks led 92-89 entering the final quarter. TIP ends. Bulls. Second year forward Laurie Markinen is making progress in his recovery from a right elbow sprain sustained in training camp. He practiced Tuesday, Wednesday, Manila time, for the first time since being injured and worked out before Wednesday's, Thursday, Manila time, game. The plan is to have him for a full contact practice again, Friday, Manila time in Detroit, coach Fred Hoidberg said. He will gradually get his rhythm and his timing and his conditioning back. It's exciting. Markinen, an all-NBA rookie first-team selection last season, has missed the first 22 games. J. Denzel Valentine had left ankle surgery in Green Bay on Tuesday, Wednesday, Manila time, and will be out for the rest of the season, the Bulls announced. He is expected to return to full basketball activities in six months. Dot Parker is getting more comfortable with his new team and entered averaging 16. 3 points and 7.2 rebounds per game. He's had a great couple weeks for us, Hoidberg said. We're very tough to guard when he rebounds the ball and pushes it with pace. We're using him all over as the trail spot attack guy 
and using him on the block, and he's been a really good facilitator in those spots. Dot Bucks, veteran forward Arsene Ilyusova returned after missing two games with right knee soreness. Bucks coach Mike Budenholzer said Ilyusova and third-year forward Thonmaker will be counted on to help make up for the loss of center John Henson, who had surgery on his left wrist Tuesday, Wednesday, Manila time. Henson is expected to be out at least 12 weeks but could return this season. We've played some really big lineups earlier in the season, Budenholzer said. Without John, we may play some smaller lineups and look at different combinations of guys. I think Maker knows what he needs to do.